So, alright, welcome guys to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with your truly, Descarander. So, alright guys, today I got a battle against Testimaus, who I've been battling before. And uh, I wanted to challenge him again, and this battle was really, like, creative in the stance that it comes that we pretty much tried to break each other. Um, in terms of being a really long, lengthy battle, but i would come in terms with that Yu Yu is all about long battles, really. If you're two good players, then it's very likely that the battle is going to be long. Uh, so, nevertheless, I want to do a little shout out to CB Hulk and Cleo for having a battle me yesterday. Uh, thank you guys for the battles. Sadly, I won't buffalo them because they were a little too long and I just I can't have those long battles. So, even though they came down like to think the last post <laughs> in each team, uh, I sadly couldn't do it. So, because of that, I'm not going to use Slowbro and stuff like that anymore because. Let's face it, they, with the Regenerator, pretty much prolongs the battle too much, and it's not very, very fun to watch. So, yeah, that's about it. So anyway, look at that uh, Tesla Mouse team here. Vaporeon is going to be like a huge threat, because it's very, very stally and very bulky. Houndoom is obviously something to deal with, too, and Durant is an RU, but it's really, like, creative and strong. And I was using Quagusai, by the way, which is an OU poke, I didn't know at the moment. And also Yolteon, which is an RU now for some reason. Uh, so I did expect that to be the lead, so I'm actually going to start off with my Glade here, just to start it off. So alright, let's do it. So alright, like I said, I did just want to start off with my Glade, and pretty much just do a knockoff. I was expecting the uh, Volt Switch coming this way, or you know, maybe Thunderbolt, but that would pretty much kill the Yolteon, because it was uh, uh, with the Air Balloon instead. So anyway, I did expect the Crobat, so I'm just going to go for a knockoff. Uh, knocking off the Black Sludge, which tells me it's probably is a bulky one. Then we're going to win my Quagmire. He expected to uh, switch out there, probably as we're going for Brave Bird. So I get a Rocky Helmet off, and here goes the Vaporeon. You're going to see these guys duke it out for some time, because they're pretty much the same set. We're both having Toxic, Scald, <laughs> he can wish, and I can recover, and I can move Amnesia. So, I don't know. Um, at this moment, we're just like in a stall out here. There's really nothing any one of us can do. So we both got our toxins off, and I'm just gonna set up an Amnesia in case he wanna try to attack me. So, uh, um, yeah. By the way, really weird that uh, Quagsire is in OU now. But it's probably, it is one of the better, like, uh, underwear poses <laughs> at the metagame. Uh, but obviously, in OU, it's pretty much outshined by Clefable, so we'll see how long it stays there. Probably not, right? So anyway, he's gonna go into his Crobat here, and I actually decided to switch out too, which was really weird. I'm going to my Victini, and I know uh, that I'm not fast because I'm having a choice ban instead. But I was thinking, whatever it goes into, I can probably take it out with a Ball Strike. Lucky for me, I get to hit. So, really, really bad for Test Mouse there. It could have been his Mega Poke, I don't know. So, anyway, I don't want to stay in for a knockoff here. So, I'm just going to go into my Chester. Uh, he can pretty much take whatever this guy will do, but he sets up Dragon Dances, and that is. Definitely a threat, and I did not expect a poison jab, which is the standard set now. <laughs> we have I find out lately. So nevertheless, there's really nothing for me to do. I just go into set up the leech there to get some HP back, but obviously getting the poison hacks there is just going to ruin just to stay here. So <laughs> I'm going for a spiky shield, uh, and he sets up dragon dance. Pretty much sees right through me by that, and I don't want to stay in for another poison jab because even though I can take it, there's like. I lose too much health to actually like think that it's worth it, so I'm going to switch out right away. I'm going to switch out into my Quagsire one more time here. He's going to go for Drain Punch and getting a good chunk of his HP back. Though the Rocky Helmet will definitely like <laughs> bring him down a little. So, you know, it's all fine. I did expect a knockoff coming this way now, because I know that this guy always wears that <laughs> when it is a Gen 5 poke. So nevertheless, I go for Recover here, just getting in a better position. Uh, the Toxic... Or, I mean, the Leech Seed will wear him down eventually, so I'm not too scared, plus the Unaware makes his hits not, like, mattering. Uh, so he's pretty much blocked there. I'm just gonna go for Skull, get some damage off, and the Leech will, well, obviously help with that. So, yeah, I'll decide to switch out there, thinking that he would switch out. Uh, he will decide to switch and go for Drain Punch, which will do a lot of damage on Chester, so definitely a misprediction on my part. I was kind of hoping that he wanted to save that, so I'll probably shouldn't go for recover instead. But you know what? I don't mind. I didn't need Chester too much this game, so I just went for a wood hammer in case he expected the um, uh, spiker shield. And well, 
I kill it. So yeah, I get why he wise was predicting that because let's face it, it felt kind of obvious. I I do get it. So nevertheless, I do expect him to go for a era of Volt Switch here. So I'm just going to go back to my Quagsire. Uh, we go for Hidden Power, which is Hidden Power Ice. And it does well enough to actually wear me down. So pretty weird that he actually decided to switch out into Vaporeon. I was pretty much in the like sense that I just go in to sack off my Quagsire. But obviously going into Vaporeon again means that we have this like stalemate in the battle once more. So yeah, just going for Recover. And yeah, I'm being obviously a douche here. <laughs> uh, so yeah, and without Rocky Helmet, there's really nothing Quagmire or Quagsaw you can do. So I'm just going to decide to switch out because I don't want his stalemates. I'm going to decide to uh, sack my uh, Chester out here because, like I said, there's really nothing you can do from this position. Um, and, well, I'm going into my Victini, pretty much forcing him to switch. So I was going for um, V-Create there. Uh, so he sees that I go for a V-Create, so he thinks he can take it. So the Toxic will wear him down almost in 50%, so this Vic Rage will actually <laughs> kill him. So yeah, real unlucky actually. I don't think the crit matter, but you know, one might never know. So anyway, I can't stay in there for a Draunt, and uh, I'm just gonna switch out. I do survive, I kinda hope for that Stone Edge to uh, miss, but it didn't obviously. So I'm just gonna go for a Flamethrower, and now I get the Hacks. So yeah, revenge is sweet, <laughs> that poison axe. So anyway, obviously the burn there was definitely where it <laughs> mattered. That, that goes for the crit that too. It probably it would definitely would, would have survived it, even though my Victini probably would be in the range of taking it out eventually. So anyway, going into my Galate here, there's really nothing this guy can do. Um, so I'm just gonna go for a Drain Punch here, I think, to recover some. I was kind of betting on that Duran was going to miss eventually, so I'm going to decide to stay in and go for a knockoff. And, uh, well, he had a wide land, so that explains a lot, but it still takes me out, so it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to go into my Scarf to Blastoise there. Just going to go for a Scald, or, wait, Water Spout, sorry. So, yeah, that obviously took him out. And, well, now it's only Jolteon left there. So, yeah, I want to thank... Um, <laughs> Tesla mouse for this battle. It was definitely an interesting one. It was definitely one of my first one. It kind of shows to play really predictable and it almost cost me the game actually. The only thing that saves me is Victini. And I have decided to not try to use him as often because it's it is definitely one of my best pokes, but it's also somewhat broken because of that. So yeah. Anyway guys, thank you for joining this battle and I'll try to upload another another battle tomorrow. And also check out Miwal's, um, my Yaw Boy Miwal's page. He uploaded a battle, uh, <laughs> which was my first Yu Yu battle, where I lost to him 6-0. It's definitely quite interesting. I was gonna have a re battle now that this week is almost over, and uh, see if I actually got better. So, nevertheless, guys, thank you for joining, and well, bye. <laughs>